to my subscribers and people that are just generally watching today. We are going to be doing another fabric slashing video. So what we're going to do is we're going to use black fabric and we're going to use some coloured fabrics that I used the other day. But I just want to see what that dark fabric would look like. Pop of lots of different bright colours underneath. Let's get into it. So first of all, I have given my fabric an iron, folded it in half, ironed along the centre and then you can just open it out. I've also used pinking the shears around the whole thing so it doesn't fray. So I've got my scraps of fabrics, which you saw in my video the other day. That was also another fabric slashing one. So if you haven't seen that, you could check it out. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use very similar fabrics that I used the other day, but I've got a couple of different laces. I've got some white bits and bobs of fabrics in here. And what I'm doing, I'm just laying those out nice and flat. Got lots of different sizes of fabrics. I could put some horizontally, could put some vertically. I just love these bright colours and I'm really wanting to see what they'll look like with the black fabric on top. So as I'm putting the fabric down, I'm just double checking that it's not going to get too thick because this black fabric is quite thick uh, when I put the top part over it. So um, and then I'm just limiting the colours, as I said, to some pinky, orangey, yellowy colours with the odd bit of pale blue. So I've got some pattern fabrics, I've got some lace, I've got some netting, I've got some satin. You can cut these down to the shapes that you want, so you wouldn't necessarily want to next one. I've literally gone for a kind of wavy line, swirly lines kind of pattern. One going in one direction and then I've got two pieces here which are going off. Now I'm going to sew all those. Cutting out the fabric, you just literally get your little scissors, a little snip at the end, bigger fabric scissors and just hack on through each layer at a time. Any little bits that are difficult to cut through, grab your little scissors again and you can just snip through some of those. Like so. And you can see with the rest that I've done there, I've literally done the same process, cut them all out, and obviously I sewed in a different direction along there and along here. Well, you know, if you want more of the colour to show you through, grab your scissors and you can just trim off that top layer like so. So now I'm just going to throw it in the washing machine. So there we have it. That's the textile technique slashing fabric and yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it again it's such a it's just such a fun project really just slashing the fabrics and you can be quite scruffy with it but certainly I think um, I could explore a little bit further with some of the fabrics that I use some of the colors and also some of the patterns the directions of the patterns but yeah, there's some really lovely effects in there. I use the zigzag stitch as well as the straight stitch there, you can see. So yeah, really pleased. So yeah, I just remembered that I had done a little bit of the fabric slashing before and I've got a little sample of it, so I'll just show you. So it's just up here and this is it. I don't know if you can kind of see that there. 
So yeah, I did that quite a while ago, but I've always liked it and the fabric really frayed well on there when I slashed through it. I think I used a quick on pick on there. And then that is another form of kind of slashing, but it's called reverse applique. Yeah, it's a, like a neater sort of version. So you kind of cut away fabric, reveal layers underneath. So that's me done and dusted today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it can provide you with um, a bit of creativity. The slashing fabric technique is such good fun. So I do hope that you have a go at it. And if you do, let me know in the comments, that would be great. If you haven't subscribed already, feel free to and give me a like if you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next video. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!